Okay, we're going to play a little City Skylines 2. Now that I upgraded my computer, it actually runs. I had to set all my settings fairly. Uh, I set them low so that we don't get any frame drop or anything, but it looks okay when you, once you get in close. Kind of show you what I have my settings at. Uh, let's go to the options, uh, graphics. Uh, I'm running see disabled field of view mode global graphic settings are custom uh, dramatic resolution is constant I've got the FX S or AA cloud quality low fog disabled Valum, volume quantity quality disabled got all these disabled reflector depth of field disabled motion blur for sure they don't even know why they put motion blur in games shadow quality uh, I'm gonna I like the look of shadows we'll see how it what it does to my my slow um frames per second um, animation I've got all these level of detail and all that I've got that high um, Shadows might have to go back off. We'll see what it does. As of right now, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't really have any um any people yet. <laughs> so we'll see what what it looks like after I get people. Okay, first thing we want to do, we want to get some electricity coming. We're gonna have electricity coming into from the out outside world and we're gonna set up a power station and then this can connect let's see uh, how about can we do underline no nope. uh, maybe I shouldn't have put this so soon maybe hmm? think can't overlap oh okay we got to go this way first so I guess I could get don't need to have that quite yet spending money and I didn't even make any yet that way just a little bit and then we'll have it then it can come straight over there we go that will bring power in from the outside and we're gonna we're just gonna do a coal power plant right away let's see where the wind is blowing winds blowing this way so we're gonna want to set it up probably over here Requires roads. I know that. Um, let's let's get some roads up first. Okay, right now we're coming in four lane roads. We're just gonna go straight. Actually, we're gonna go that way, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a just make it a little more unique. So it's not one straight avenue. And then off of that, we're going to do a, let's see, what's this, three lane, turning lane, what's this one, we got pedestrian street, we've got narrow road without sidewalks, this is with both directions and a sidewalk, okay, what we're going to do, it's gonna go that way and then from here we're gonna kind of go off and this is gonna go off towards the residential it's gonna be over here along the, the river uh, let's get it right about there and then we can do this and then we can kind of skirt the the shoreline makes some riverfront pro 
property right off the bat, huh? And then off of here, we're just gonna, where it's kind of going like this. We don't want it to um, knock out a lot of our pre-existing And let's attach here. And people can just kind of go around. And at the end here, we're going to put like, put like a school or something. Okay, now we need water. So let's grab, we could do an underground, let's see, is there any underground water we have? Yes, we do. Uh, we could do underground water here and pipe it in or we could do it here, but this is going to residential. I don't really want to be pulling from there. Uh, let's do underground. We're going to need a road to come all the way over there. Maybe not. We, we might do that later, but right now let's, yeah, let's just grab some water from pumping station we're gonna put the pumping station here so it doesn't interfere and then we gotta have it one that puts out the sewage which we want to get the sewage treatment plant as quick as possible so we don't have it pumping into the river but always put it to where it's running don't have it here like if you have it here it's just gonna flow right into your pumping station and you're gonna be pumping uh, dirty water Okay, now we want to do piping. Let's do, we're gonna do one double underground pipe going all the way here and then attaching. And then we can have from there, attach to there. We need, oh, it needs a road. Oh, never mind then. That's my bad. So we'll just run a road there instead of doing underground pipe. Okay, well, let's run a road then. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big road because it's just a. Let's have it a gravel road that's going to connect our two. just a service road it won't be like you know like something that where people are gonna be living on and stuff okay so now that should be moving oh that's you no know, it's attached is it just we don't have any power to it yeah we don't have any power up yet at all so um, we can do, we can do the power plant along this, this road, like that. Why would they object to having power station there? And now what we gotta do is get this and attach it there. And that'll feed power into go deeper with it is that attaching or is it not hmm for some reason it doesn't seem to be attaching okay well let's uh get rid of that then and let's try this and then 
Let's see if we can go underground with that to attach it. There we go. Okay, now we have power flowing from the power station, which then these should be powered also. Okay, now we want, I want to do this to where it's kind of in blocks. I don't want it to have a hole like, like that. I want to be able to build around stuff. Uh, so we want to do more of a, a fill. It's kind of a paint, isn't it? Yeah, so we can kind of paint it. See what those... Oh, no. Exactly, this isn't really working as much as I wanted it to. We'll try this one. Yeah, that's better. This way we can kind of build behind stuff and kind of go up that way if we need like a parking lot or something like that. Once we get parking we got to upgrade all these different things. So we have different size buildings. It's still all the same. Okay, now we got to get some residential going. Same kind of thing. We'll see what we can... Easier just to kind of make it one solid thing, but I want these houses to be a little more unique. Until we can actually get modded houses that look more like real houses that you would see that you'd want at least that I would want in my city like sidewalks and stuff going between the houses I'll be able to do that a little better if I don't have it wall to wall so people don't have the ability to have a backyard or something so I want to be able to put like trails and stuff walking trails behind be as good for like a high population but who wants to live in a city that's got a thousand people in it? <laughs> Not me. I enjoy living in one that's got a couple hundred people in it. Yeah, see it's a little more time consuming in doing it this way but I want to be able to make not have to tear down houses just to, to build a, a trail or something. And then we're going to find a nice wooded place. Build a house right in the middle. Wait, what happened there? Build a house right in the middle of the wooded place name the person that lives there Mark. <laughs> yeah, we'll 
see how this works. I've never really tried it doing this way. Usually I just take and fill the whole section and go from there. This way it's going to be a little more um, unique. This is kind of a service road, but we'll put a couple houses on it just to give it a try. Okay, and then we need some factories, which this is down downwind, so we could we could set up some kind of some factory areas right down here. So we have some production. places and now let's take a look what we got for we have any kind of like sidewalks or anything this is two-lane road without sidewalks I don't want that a street where only foot traffic is allowed apart from service and delivery vehicle okay well that's not really I'm looking for more of like a park like area <laughs> Okay, we got an upgrade to a tiny village. With this, now that's going to unlock some stuff for us. Uh, we can also use unlock points. Let's uh, advance road service. I like that. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got batteries. See, I only got one point, so I want to be very careful with what I'm going to use it for. A crematorium. Those we need two, so I think I'm going to unlock the road. I'm not doing roundabouts. I personally, when I'm driving, there's a few roundabouts down Illinois where I have to drive some, and I can't stand them. <laughs> I don't like roundabouts. Uh, we got us another hundred thousand dollars. Okay. We got to get some trees planted around here too, because it's just kind of barren. Even though they do have some nice lakefront or riverfront property. And it's nice small houses. It's nothing, you know, big. Just want it to be a modest little community, not no big metropolitan area make a city like what I would like to live in. Everything is far apart, so you, even though those houses are close together, eventually I'm going to make areas where the houses can be, like, they can have a yard, you know, like, have a couple acres. Okay, let's see, we got our clinic. Let's set the clinic. Where are we going to put the clinic? The clinic's going on this road. Going on this main road here. Okay, we got our clinic, we need a cemetery at some point, and we need a waste management place. Okay, let's uh, let's add a little more to our roads here. Oh, we've got more roads, so we got a uh, four lane, but we're keeping it modest, keeping it a modest town, so just going to go with this four lane and stick with that for right now. like a small bridge going across the river and have some houses and stuff on the other side. Let's do that. We're going to go from here. Oh, I guess not. Um, that. We have to raise 
raise it. I guess I'm too not tall enough or something. Yeah, okay. Um what do we have to do? We have to do we have to build road <coughs> over on this side first. Line it up here. And then do the bridge. And it's showing like it's underwater. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this little pistol rope that I didn't. I didn't guess it didn't need to do. <clears throat> Let's get rid of that tile too. It doesn't need to be there. Let's see. Let's uh just run the road across. Yeah, see, it, it's showing like it's underwater for some reason. Hmm, guess that won't work. Trial and error, right? Okay, now we've got service. We can set up stoplights and stuff with that. Let's see, what do we got here? I think we got stop. We already have a stoplight there. be nice to have a community where you don't have to have stoplights because it's small enough. Okay, we need to get our landfill set up so we have garbage area, but we do not want that anywhere near habitable areas. If we can get across, if they would let me build a bridge, because then I could put the landfills over here. There's a bridge here, but that's uh, that's not going to do us any good. <laughs> um, how about if we come this way? Let's see, let's grab this one, and we're going to come off. And they're going to, if they get here, they're going to pave it. No, nope, I guess we can't go that way, huh? Water level's too high right there or something. Okay, we got some manufacturing. Let's see what we got for manufacturing. We've got food. So this requires vegetables and livestock. So once we get upgraded, we'll be able to do, do that. This one needs livestock. That one needs ore. Steel and metal and more livestock. So we, our goal is to get a livestock, but we have to be a large village before we can get that. Uh, let's see, we need more residential. I don't want to have row housing though. I want a nice quiet community. No row housing in my house, my area. Let's get some more houses going here then. Oh, not there. This is commercial. We don't want, we don't want houses in the commercial area. Okay, uh, no, nope, I don't want any more there. Let's grab, let's make ourselves our road and we're gonna do another little uh kind of off street here for just another little area that's gonna kind of go this way and go along the river again okay there we go now let's grab ourselves some more Housing here. Get our population.
population up a little bit more. be careful not to hit play place it down because it starts building almost instantaneously if it's not where you want it. Okay. And let's see. They always they still we've got the medical center but they, they want us to make a graveyard. Maybe we'll do the graveyard at the end of the main road here. because there's a lot of trees over here that we can oh and fertile land good okay there we go uh, high rent okay let's see we want they are demanding more commercial and industrial. Get some more commercial going here. Okay, well 
little did that go? It's dropping our demand for commercial. Let's try making a little more industrial down here. We can actually put some industrial across from across the bridge. Put it over here next to the, the dump. And we'll definitely, once we can make trees, we'll get this all set up with trees. Okay, well I think that's where we're going to leave off for right now. Um, just wanted to get a start on it start on the new city okay well thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it hope you are gonna enjoy this series uh, I did play quite a bit off camera just to kind of get myself familiarized a little bit more with the with the game um, we were able to put the, the settings up a little bit higher it's still I'm still waiting for you know I want to be able to get down here and see the grass you know like in city skylines one you can get tall grass, you can get a lot better, like, the visuals in City Skylines 1 are a lot better, and still get good frame rate. I like the smaller houses, you know, big box houses where you got your neighbors sitting on top of your face. <laughs> and we're start, we'll start filling these places in with sidewalks and gardens, like, playgrounds and stuff like that make this a nice little community to, that everybody I would want to live in. <laughs> so, okay, well thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it and have a great rest of your day.